The cultists used the Aeon Stone to a power up. We must hurry! The time has come, Akatus. Cleave through your enemies with the might of Alcon. Lot Mulan, your death approaches. Come, Lord Vulan. Our battle shall end here. I know not how these mortals remind you, but they shall not do so again. I am your foe. You shall face me. Quickly!
I need only my own might to defeat you. Full Kraji! Now, little mask bearer, let us see how you handle my true might!
one is slain. Now I shall ensure that nothing remains. We fought hard for this victory, Dragon Guard. To save the people of elsewhere, of all Tamriel, from Lotvalon's tyranny. But our battle does not end here. Like those who came before, we'll fight the dragons that plague this land until the day that plague ends. And for all those who lost their lives today, I say this prayer. May your flames burn eternal. Mother, flames and ice, swords and arrows. It was spectacular. Mother, must say, slaying dragons is certainly a step up from stealing temple heirlooms. Uh, you'll never let that one go, will you? Zaji knew we could do it. There was never a doubt in his mind. After all, we are the Dragon Guard, right? The scourge of dragons far and wide. Uh, well, <laughs> Zaji will admit there was one or two moments of doubt, but they passed by very quickly. He hardly noticed them at all. You know, Walker... Uh, forget it. At the danger of sounding boorish, Zaji just wanted to thank you for all that you've done. When this one left Black Heights, it was to seek adventure and glory. And so he bought a fine vessel and assembled a gallant crew. However, however, adventure and glory is a bit hard to seek out. It's not often you come upon signposts asking for mighty heroes to save the kingdom. Well, maybe you do. It seems like you have that sort of luck. The point is that Sai Sahan was right to doubt Zachi and his crew. We were smugglers, not heroes. Ruffians trying to make enough gold to get by. And then you came along and asked us to take you here, to this island. And now the Moon Singers will tell stories of us for generations to come. So, thanks for giving Zaji a chance to become the hero he always knew he could be. And for letting us come along with you on this unbelievable adventure.
Excellent fighting out there, Dragon God. Of course, your work isn't done. There remain plenty of dragons for your order to slay. But I swear to you, from here on, that the shields of Senshal will aid you however we can. We'll continue to protect Senshal and its citizens, of course. Try our best to keep order. But I do have plans beyond that. One day, the shields of Senshal will protect all of Pelatine. No more hiding behind city walls. As much as I would like to keep my daughter by my side, I don't think that would be wise. She's grown so much during her time with the Dragon God. Her place is here. I couldn't be prouder of the woman she has become. Hello there, hero. Have time for a chat? We did it. Senshal is finally safe from Lapulon and the Order of the New Moon. There are other dragons to contend with, of course, but we'll defeat those too, won't we? Just like the Dragon Guard of Legend. I've actually been thinking a lot about that, our order. I honestly wonder if it will last. Maybe Zaji and Casca will get bored and seek out another adventure. Maybe another threat will call Saisahan away. A little. But mostly the thought makes me... sad. I've come to think of the Dragon Guard as a family of sorts. And I fear that if the Order disbanded, if there was no longer a reason to fight, I would lose that. I know, I know. There's no shortage of work. I'm just being silly is all. But then there's also this feeling that our battle isn't truly over. Which is an even scarier thought, isn't it? What is the new moon that the cult worshipped? How did Lapulon plan to rule over Tamriel? They're just questions that keep bouncing around in my head. It might be nothing, but I'm just not sure this is over yet. Just the warrior I wanted to speak to. At long last, we defeated the Black Beast. Today we finished a battle the Dragon Guard began centuries ago. A fitting start to our own order, I must say. Brooding as usual, Nephilim may have pulled through as our ally, but he's still not one for socializing with mere mortals. He did say he wished to speak to you when you returned. If the subject comes up, let Nephilar know that he's welcome to recover in our sanctum. He's our ally, and the Dragon Guard takes care of its own. Far more confident of our Dragon Guard, I must admit. When we first formed our order, all I saw was a ragtag band of smugglers, ill-experienced and naive in the ways of battle. Ah, yes. Young Aelia. How could I forget? But now I look around me and I see soldiers. Tried and true. Warriors who are willing to lay down their lives to protect elsewhere. And if that's not in the spirit of the Dragon Guard, I don't know what is. Captain. Yes. I suppose I am, aren't I? It's been a long time since I last held that rank. I failed to uphold my duty then. I allowed my Emperor to die, and watched as our Empire fell into the clutches of Daedra. And now I have another chance to make things right. Not in the Empire, perhaps, but here in a land that has a great need for a Dragon Guard to watch over it. And I expect your help as well, my friend. 
as always. An excellent battle, Akatus. Your might helped seal Lot Vulan's fate. He shall never challenge me again. Indeed, and our foes seem to thwart us at every turn. Lot Vulan killed Yagrandu before he could join our alliance, and his corpse was turned against us. The cult destroyed Pride Home in their efforts to acquire the Mask of Alkash. Though it was no easy task to do so, the Halls of the High Main presents challenges that few dare to face. Yet you conquered them all, and proved worthy of Alkosh's divine power. A feat few mortals can claim. You have certainly proved yourself worthy of the Mask of Alkosh. Just do not expect it to ensure all your victories. Its power was only awakened through our connection. With my departure, it shall be but a mask. Not yet. We defeated Lot Vulan, but I sense another power lurking in elsewhere. Something dark that threatens to disrupt my father's order. When the time comes for you to face it, I shall aid you, I give you my word. And keep the mask, <laughs> it suits you. Good, you're here. Saisahan has been glowering even worse than Nathalar since he got that letter. He wants to speak with you. Something about a new threat. What more is there to say? Sai got a letter and his mood darkened. And that's not a pleasant sight to see. Saisahan seemed eager to talk to you and Nathalar. I'd suggest you go to Nafalar's chamber and poke your nose in. Best be quick about your business. Get to Nafalar's chamber and see...
that scent on the air. The mask bearer approaches. Good. Now we're just waiting for him. Just in time, my friend. When my old companion arrives, I prefer to have someone I trust at my side. Abner Thorn. According to his letter, the two of you worked together after the Prophet incident. He even praised you. I know, it surprised me too. The old snake also said he's bringing a friend, and we have important business to discuss. I know as much as you do. He just mentioned a threat to something elsewhere. Between Tharn's cryptic letter and Nathalar's strange mood, I'm feeling uneasy myself. Talk to the dragon. Find out what troubles him while I wait for Tharn. I appreciate you dealing with Nathalar. The dragon senses my unease over Tharn's letter, which only makes his own anxiety more pronounced. Meanwhile, I need to keep myself from thrashing the old battle mage the moment I see him. Abner Thorn is conceited, opinionated, condescending, and a pain in my arse. And those are his good qualities. All that said, I have the utmost respect for the Battle Mage. When danger appears, we could do worse than to have Abner on our side. <sighs> the bearded one speaks as though I am not perched within striking distance and can hear every syllable he utters. I might find his hubris amusing in a different light, but the light that remains fades as darkness comes. A riddle to those hindered by limited perspectives. A profound truth to one such as I. Something ancient and powerful assaults my senses, but the path ahead is unclear. I sense a darkness, hmm, perhaps an absence of light. It sets my scales on edge. My feeling is my own. It grew from a tickle behind my broken horn when the fool of a battle mage opened the halls of Colossus. Now it swirls like a black storm around me. Ah, quite unpleasant. Perhaps the new arrivals can shed clarity on what is to come. Mortal? Here? How do you stand it? My head pounds like an orc drum. You get used to it. And that was your best one yet. Abner Tharn. You arrogant, vexatious son of a bleary-eyed... Save your posturing, Sai. I missed you too. But we have a bigger problem to deal with. I see that my instructions were followed to the letter. The champion of Aquina... Sai Sahan and the dragon Nafala together in the same place, and I have brought Kamira. We have much to discuss. It concerns Kalgrontid. Kalgrontid absorbed a good deal of the core's power before we stopped him. I hoped he was lost in the void after we dislodged him, but like us, he made his way back to Tamriel. I've been hunting for him ever since. Not just that. I pieced together his ultimate plan. Calgronti boasted he would become the equal of Akatosh, and your dealings with Lodvalon and the cult of the New Moon suggest they were preparing for an ascension. Isn't it obvious? Calgronti plans to become a god. There's an island off the coast, Dragonhold. In the Kunzari legends, it was the dragon's seat of power. I can't open a portal to it, I can't even scry it. It's protected by potent magic. You face the cult of the New Moon? The cultists revere Calgrontid. They must have a method for getting to and from the island. I assume their base at the New Moon Fortress holds the answers we seek.
strange green stone. Does that sound like what you're looking for, Thorn? Indeed. Since I read about it in your reports, I've wanted to examine it. Chimera, can you... No more portals, Tarn. Not right now. I have duties other than conveying you around, you know. Oh, very well. Sai, let's talk. We'll meet our friend at the fortress. I think I will leave the investigation of the cultist stronghold to you and the sour old men, Five Claw. I want to find out more about the situation in Pelotine from your Dragon Guard companions. They are locals, yes? Chisvari will make them pay. Can't a Khajiit nap in peace? Mm. Don't you know that interruptions at nap time cause mange of the fur? You mean other than the cultists that were trying their damnedest to disembowel us? Wait a moment. You're going back there. What in the two moons could possibly warrant a return visit to that awful place? Now that you mention it, I did hear a few of those nutters mentioning sending the green stone to an island, and they were certainly sacrificing something on that altar in the amphitheater. I am not a mage. I wouldn't know a portal from a hole in the ground, but that's where they were gathering the green uh, aeon stone, I think they called it. If they have a way to move the stone, it must be in the amphitheater. That's where I would look. May the moons protect you on your mission. If you need a helping claw, come find me. After my nap. 